In this video, we are going to be exploring the different types of rubrics available to you in Brightspace. So in order to access the rubrics, we're going to click on Course Admin. And then we're going to go down to the Assessment section and click on Rubrics. Now, if you're going to create a new rubric, it's going to automatically default you to the analytic type. Now, the analytic type allows you to have multiple criterion here. Notice there's the levels here. You can add criterion. You can remove them. You can have however many you want. You can use points for your levels as well. And also, it gives this overall score. So based on the whole rubric, it'll um, level it automatically for you, or you can do that manually as well. The other type of rubric is a holistic rubric, which you can access here. And a holistic rubric is just a one-dimensional rubric. There's only one criterion, and it's just assessed to assess an overall achievement or an overall um, how students do on one thing. Okay, so um, I have a couple example rubrics here. Uh, one thing you're going to notice is that there's no save button here when you create a new rubric it automatically saves it so when i click close that untitled rubric is now there so just know that so every time you click on new rubric it is going to create a rubric for you so if you don't want it you're just going to have to delete it so um, i do have an example of each type of rubric so a sample holistic rubric could be something like this right? You can use percentages. You could also use no score at all. If you didn't want to, you just wanted to have that um, to provide student feedback so they could see what level they got. But you can just have something like student performed an exemplary level and then all the way down, whatever the task was. And that's just a one dimensional holistic rubric. The other type of rubric, the analytic one here is um, a sample analytic rubric. This is from a course, uh, a math course, and uh, it's set up to be used with learning goals and success criteria. So you can use these types of rubrics for TAC. Like you could have your um, three, your uh, knowledge, application, communication, and thinking here. Um, or if you're using learning goal based assessment, you can have. Um, success criteria that's what these are and you can have your learning goal right so you can use your learning goal here and your success criteria here so you can grade them or give them feedback on each of the success criteria but then provide an overall grade for that particular learning goal so that's how i've used those in the past and it's really cool to be able to do that now notice this one doesn't have points on it i would have um, assigned a mark manually um, afterwards but we'll go through all that, um, creating them, uh, assessing, assigning a point system or percentages, and then attaching them to assignments or other um, things that you want to assess. And you can have them auto graded, or you could manually grade, and you can link them to uh, grade items and put it in your grade book. So a lot of this stuff we're talking about is gonna start to tie together here. But in this video, just wanted to highlight the difference between uh, the analytic and the holistic, holistic rubrics.